So welcome to our new water project titled Clean Water for the Family and Home. Um, we're currently one and a half hours inland from Bombay in a small village area called Ganesh Pori. And clean water really changes lives. Clean water and basic sanitation are fundamentals necessary to help the world's poorest people overcome health issues and tackling poverty. Um, our project is based on the last mile of, of clean water and that's basically getting water from the village source to the family home then into the human body as cleanly as possible. In India people are dying every second from water related diseases. Not only that is the whole potential of the human undermined through water problems. So things like children missing school, medical related expenses soaring through the roof with families that just can't afford it. Um, and these diseases can be easily um, minimised by the implementation of a quite simple five step strategic plan that we've uh, developed. And what the last mile is mean is, is getting clean water from a village source like this to the inside to the human body as cleanly as possible. In this area, not one single house has got clean running water. The second step to the five barrier approach to creating clean water in the home is called sedimenting your water. Uh, when they pull water out of the river like this or out of a dirty well, it can be so full of dirt that you can't even see through it. And we call that turbidity. So when it reaches a certain level of turbidity, it must be sedimented. And the way you do that is very simple for a home, a village home, is you pour the water in a bucket and in 24 hours the dirt settles down below and the clear water is above. If you add one of two elements, like alum or drumstick seeds, it helps speed up the um, sedimenting of the water, the separating. 50% of the pathogens that cause waterborne diseases are in that mud. Let's look at how simple this water filter is. The first thing you see inside the filter is this diffuser plate. You'll see that it's a galvanized plate and it has an array of little holes in it. The reason uh, uh, for this diffuser plate is to keep the inrush of new water from disturbing the sand layers uh, in the filter and the biological film that develops on top of the sand. We really need something that has a considerable height before an opening occurs because in the village environment there are cows, buffalo, children, uh, chickens, pigs, uh, snakes, frogs. It's made of local, locally uh, available materials. It's very difficult to move, to tip over, or dislodge. Step four is to disinfect your water. Take a plastic PET bottle, it says PET on the bottom, and fill it completely full of your clean water. You can't have it, can't be cloudy. And you put it in the sun for six hours. Uh, if it's a cloudy day, two days. And in six hours, it will clean 100% disinfect your water of any kind of viruses or bacteria. So anything left over from using the filter will be uh, knocked out by this disinfection process. And the fifth step is to store your water in a clean vessel. They suggest it have a narrow top and some kind of spigot so that you can collect the water here underneath.